It's a face, 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 face. Face, face, face. What up, YouTube? You know who it is, the one you guys love to hate. I'm Dax with Keeping It Real with Dax. Once you and me will always be tied. Memory every single day and night. Even when you start acting like a fool, you know I love and every single thing you do. Hey, we are back for another yet wonderful episode. But before we jump into today's episode, I just wanna give you guys a few updates about what's going on. Um, now it's just me and also my videographer and director, just Hugo, so we no longer have creative directors. There's no bad blood between me and my creative directors. I still love them from the bottom of my heart. But we just decided to part ways and I got some new things. Bam! Look at that background. You guys, I listen to everything everyone tells me so if something isn't working let me know because I want you to watch the video I want you to actually enjoy the video so I heard the goal was a little distracting so I went on my way and I got a new background it's wonderful and I heard I had some issues with my audio Bam! and got this new little video mic road thingy this was $150 so I know y'all can hear me crisp and clear and then also you may notice I'm a little bright on this side. I got a new, well, it's not a new studio light, but one of my brothers, Ryan, shout out to you. He let me borrow his studio light so that I can have an awesome video experience. So I'm so glad you guys are still on the road with me. We're jumping right into today's episode, and it features a peel off gel mask. And this is the mask right here. And I'm always up and willing to try new masks because you never really want to try the same mask over and over. I mean, let's just the charcoal mask. And if you guys can find that, let me know because I cannot find the site for that. But let's jump right into today's episode so you already know what to do. You want to wet your face. Ooh. <laughs> you want to wet that. Get a nice little towel and just do a damp dry. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is apply a little bit here and you know I got to go and apply the rest. All right. Oh, I can't open it. Give me one second. Oops, sorry guys, I had to run and go get some scissors. I don't know if it's my hands were wet, but I usually can't open them. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the texture here. Ooh, it's clear. Okay, hmm, it's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit so that you guys can see it. Hmm, okay, hmm. Very has a very distinct smell. It's really kind of it smells like cucumber. Now I'm not a fan of cucumber, but I kind of like pickles. I know that's weird, but let me go ahead and apply the rest of this, and I'll give you guys an update. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and applied it all to my face. Get a good look. It has a real clear tone tint to it. So I'm gonna. I think the label said about 10 to 15 minutes, and I'll give you guys an update when to start peeling. Okay. Y'all, this is really, really tight, and it's settled on my face crazy tight. But as you can take a look, you can see around, like, the edge, like, as I start doing that, it'll start to pull off. So, I started a little bit here, and then it's just going to come off. So, give me one, ooh, isn't that cool? Give me one second here, and let me go take the rest off so we can do a finish and touch, okay? Ah, I'm a just kidding. But look at this, guys. I had to show you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Whew. That is what you call a real pill-off mask job. Mm. Okay, guys. So, the mask has been taken completely off. You just want to do one little nice refresher on your face. Do a nice towel pack. And you guys know I love, love, love doing my noxema right after my face mask because my face has like a dry texture if I don't put anything on it after it's been wet. All right, so that's all finished. My face is feeling fresh. The only thing I have to say about that mask, it was great, don't get me wrong. I would suggest putting it on a little even because right, right in this area I did it kind of thick and it was too jelly, but that's the only um, comment that I have to say about that. So if you guys have any face masks that you'd like for me to try, go ahead and drop a comment below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the best channel, Keeping It Real with Dax. I'm out, guys.